What's up you guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to apply a ceramic coating from the preparation to the application to the maintenance. This one right here is less than about 35 bucks and I got it on Amazon and I'm kind of doing it just as a test just to see because I saw some really good reviews. So we're going to see how it stands up, how nice it looks and how easy the application is. So first thing you guys want to do is rinse off your truck. And then I went ahead and hit it with the snow foam canyon and in here I have a powerful vehicle and boat wash mixed with just like a $5 soap that I got from Walmart. And then I went ahead and did the wheels as it sat on the paint. I did have a slight wax on the truck before so that's why I wanted to use something powerful and let it sit. And then I'm going to hit it one more time as you can see with the uh, snow foam. And then I'm going to go over the whole entire truck with the hand wash. And then I'm going to go one more time again with the snow foam just to make sure that there's nothing left on the truck. So the next step in preparation for your ceramic coating is to clay bar. So my truck is about five months old and it doesn't have that much, you know, um, gunk and all that stuff on it. So I'm doing it while the car is still wet. And I'm still spraying a dilution of a company called Wolfgang. They have a really good clay bar and wash. So after I did that, I'm drying the car fully. And after the truck is fully dried, I want to go ahead and make sure that I get all the spots of where there's any swirl marks and light scratches. So because my truck doesn't have any deep scratches, I'm only using this polish from Chemical Guys. It works very well. And I'm also using this $20 uh, buffer that I got from Walmart. There's a lot better ones out there, but mine didn't have any severe scratches. So what you want to go ahead and do is just put a couple little dots, uh, and then you can put a little more as needed. But as you put these dots, you want to just press it on the truck in different areas, as I'm doing here. And then after you've spread it out enough, you want to go ahead and turn on the machine and only do a little section at a time, maybe two feet by two feet. And then go back and forth and make sure you read your instructions because every instructions are different. And as you can see here, my instructions were continue to buff until the hazing is almost disappeared. But I don't think I put enough on this section. I went ahead and added more uh, after this. But you want to make sure you read your directions and follow them. This right here is a random rotator. Um, it's what they call it. It's not a circular one where it just goes in one motion. This one's just actually random circles. And this is better for your paint so you don't accidentally mar it or damage it. So now that the preparation is almost complete except for one last wipe down, which I'll go over soon. Here's the unboxing of the $25 to $30 ceramic coating. So in the box, we're going to go ahead and see the instructions, which we'll go over in a bit. And then the actual bottle of the ceramic coating. So I thought this wasn't enough and I was going to order another one, but after seeing some reviews of people saying that, you know, it fit my whole truck, it was good enough. Um, I only went ahead and did one and it ended up being right. You only need one, uh, even if you have a big truck or anything like that. So uh, mine was completely empty at the end, but I did put it on the windows and also some trim. So this is good enough right here. And then this is the actual pad that you're going to be using. And this is to buff off, this little microfiber right here is going to be to buff off after you actually applied the ceramic coating. And then these are some black gloves. You always want to make sure you're wearing protection and you're in a well velinated area. And then right here are the actual pads you're going to go ahead and put over that little foam brick. Now you always want to make sure you're going over the directions, even if we already did everything, just to double check. The only thing we didn't do is the isopropyl alcohol and we're actually doing that right now. Uh, you just want to dilute it about 1 to 10 and make sure you go over the whole car. This will make sure there's no contaminants or anything left over from the polisher or the clay bar. So now time for the ceramic coating. You want to grab those little white pads that come with it and you're going to want to put it over that little foam brick that they give you. Make sure you shake the ceramic coating well and then you're going to want to open the little tab right here. And you're only going to want to put a little bit, um, like a little line, maybe like seven drops here. Yeah, so you're not going to want to overload it and put too little because you actually want it to show. So that's the good amount right there. You want to make sure you close it just so nothing gets in the bottle or doesn't dry out as you're doing this. And then make sure you have your buffing towel ready. So after you apply it, make sure you read the directions. But this said, um, it's not going to haze, but it's going to show like a little rainbow. And uh, you'll notice when it's ready. So you want to apply it in a cross hatch pattern, which is up and down and actually side to side. So as you're seeing here, and don't you don't want to do big sections at a time. You want to do little sections 
so it has enough time to dry and you're not overloading it or putting too little product. So after you start to see that little rainbow effect or the hazing, you want to go ahead and buff it off and make sure you don't miss anything. I did it on a partly cloudy day and there was a little bit of sun out so it didn't take too long for me. But as I'm even buffing it right now, I can totally tell the slickness from the left side of the hood to this side right here where I actually applied the coating. And the difference is a lot, a lot. Now I continue to do the whole car section by section and making sure to keep switching out the little white towel uh, every couple of minutes and also switching out my buffing towel. And it took me about, I'd say 30 minutes to complete the whole car. And now here is the finished product. So as you guys can see, this thing is super, super shiny and super reflective. It looks super nice. It looks like a mirror and it's as smooth as glass. I'm loving the way it's looking, the way it feels. And for only $25, I think this was an amazing deal. So on the bottle, it says it lasts a year or over a year with good maintenance, but I don't think it's going to last that long. But I am going to show you guys some products you can use to maintain the coating and to give it that rejuvenating shine and the effect and to keep it lasting as long as possible. So here are some products you can use. The first one is Ice Spray Wax by Turtle Wax. This one, you're going to want to apply it every, I'd say, two to three months. It lasts a long time, but if you want something more maintenance wash, this one, you put it right in your rinse bucket. It's not super foamy, but it adds an extra layer of protection and it'll keep it looking smooth. This one right here is by Meguiar's and you just want to go ahead and spray it while the car is still wet. And then you rinse it off and it puts some protection on that way. This one works the same way, but this one is graphene infused. It's a little more expensive by Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Line. And then you can also use a drying aid or something like a wash and wax. All these ways are great ways to maintain your ceramic coating and to make sure your car is always looking as nice as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you can please help me out by giving me a like and a subscribe, I'll really appreciate that. Thank you guys and have a good day.